Welcome to Start With, the Tampa Museum of Art's virtual early education program for children and families. Sponsored by the Tampa Bay Super Bowl 55 Host Committee, the Institute of Museum and Library Services, Hillsborough County, and Tico Energy. Hi friends, I'm Miss Victoria, and I work here at the Tampa Museum of Art in downtown Tampa. I'm so excited you're joining me today to explore the elements of art, learn how to share our emotions, discover interesting artists, and much, much more. Today, we'll start by reading a story together in the galleries, and then I'll suggest an art-making activity for you to get involved and be inspired by a work of art that we're gonna take a closer look at. So, let's get started and meet in the galleries. Here at the Tampa Museum of Art, we collect artwork that is really old, from ancient Greece and ancient Rome, so older than all of the grown-ups that we know, and modern and contemporary art, or the art of today. Currently, I am in Taking Shape, Abstraction from the Arab World, 1950s to 1980s. And we are starting with color. This exhibition includes almost 90 works of art by artists from 13 different countries, including Algeria, Egypt, Iraq, Jordan, Kuwait, Lebanon, Morocco, Palestine, Qatar, Sudan, Syria, Tunisia, and the United Arab Emirates. And this exhibition comes to us from the Bargeel Art Foundation. Artists in this exhibition come from various different backgrounds, cultures, speak different languages, and have different religious beliefs. Today, we'll start by reading Golden Domes and Silver Lanterns, a Muslim Book of Colors. And then we'll take a closer look at a work of art by an artist named Hind Nasser, titled Isla from 1975. Golden Domes and Silver Lanterns, a Muslim Book of Colors by Hannah Han, illustrated by Mehrdok Amini, read with permission from Chronicle Books. Red is the rug, dad kneels on to pray, facing towards Mecca five times a day. Blue is the hijab mom likes to wear. It's a scarf she uses to cover her hair. Gold is the dome of the mosque, big and grand. Beside it, two towering minarets stand. White is a kufi, round and flat. Grandpa wears this traditional hat. Black is the ink I use to draw the Arabic letters that spell Allah. Brown is a date, plump and sweet. During Ramadan, it's my favorite treat. Orange is the color of my henna designs. They cover my hands in leafy vines. Purple is an Eid gift just for me. I open it up and love what I see. Yellow is the box we fill on Eid with gifts of zakat for those in need. Green is the Quran I read with pride. Grandma explains the lessons inside. Silver is a fanus, a twinkling light, a shiny lantern that glows at night. All of the colorful things we've seen make up the world of my faith, my deen. Now that we've read a fun story together all about the colors that make up the world around us, it's time to take a closer look at Hind Nasser's Isla from 1975. Some questions to guide your looking might be, what's going on in this picture? What do you see that makes you say that? What colors did the artist use? What shapes do you see? When looking at an abstract work of art, there's no pressure. Take your time, change your perspective. How does the artwork look up close? What about from far away? Hind Nasser is an artist from the country of Jordan. And in her painting, Isla, she is specifically inspired by the natural landscape 
and the colors found in nature, specifically from sunrises and sunsets. Hind is an important part of the arts community in Jordan, and she even developed a children's club in Amman focused on visual arts and theater. Now it's time for you to be inspired and create your own abstract art. I created mine using paper, string, and paint. Remember, when you're creating, have fun. There's no pressure. Focus on the colors and the shapes and the feeling behind making your painting. Instructions for this activity and suggestions for more ways to engage can be found on our website. And be sure to share your wonderful creations with us on any of our social media platforms. Thank you for learning and creating with us here at the Tampa Museum of Art, and we'll see you next time.